I know you want to get everything done all at once. But isn't it the excitement of always looking forward to something new? I remember hearing Abraham Hicks. And this is her book, Ask and It Is Given. And one of the things she said was, you will never get it all done. And as I was meditating a few minutes ago, that came in my mind. And I started thinking, you know, boy, I could get things, certain things done. And it's the leading up to the things that I desire that really give me something to look forward to. I'm going to read something. Allow your feelings to be your God. Another important premise that is valuable to remember is that you are a physical extension of source energy and that an external stream of source energy flows to you and through you, and that is you. <clears throat> this stream flowed before the physical being that you know as you was born, and it will continue to flow once the physical being that you know as you experience as you experience what we call death. Every living thing, animal, human, or plant experiences that which is called death with no exception. Spirit, which is who we really are, is external. So what death must be is but a changing of the perspective of the eternal spirit. If you are standing in your physical body and consciously connected to that spirit, then you are eternal in nature. And you need never fear any indebtedness because from that perspective, there is not. You will never cease to be, for you are eternal consciousness. Your emotions let you know how much source energy you are summoning in this moment by virtue of the desire you hold in this moment. They also let you know whether your preponderance of thought on the subject matches your desire or matches the absence of your desire. For example, a feeling of passion or enthusiasm <clears throat> indicates that there is a very strong desire focused in the moment. A feeling of rage or revenge also indicates that there is a very strong desire. However, a feeling a boredom indicates very little focus, desire in the moment. When you really, really want something and you are thinking about your desire and feeling pressure, pleasure from the door, your door vibration is now in alignment with your desire. And a coming from your source is flowing through you towards you, towards your intended desire with no restriction or resistance. We call that allowing. As I was meditating, it was a few books that came to mind. Downloads, right? Gut feelings that came to mind for me to talk about one of these videos this morning. And this was one of them. See, you think that you are going to be happy once you get the thing. But what you're really searching for is that feeling. And let me tell you something. God has not forgotten about you. Source has not forgotten about you. You may think, like, oh my goodness, I'm doing this and that. Source has not forgotten about you. And I was a little teary-eyed this morning because, you know, oftentimes we we think that, right? And I was teary-eyed because I just see it. <laughs> like, I visualize all the greatness. And at times I'm like, Dina, how dare you? How dare you? You know Source got you. And so I just wanted to leave that with you guys. Asking it is given by Jerry and Esther Hicks.